day one of quarantine. This is the quarantine anchorage, just outside Denarau. A couple of boats here too. Over there in the distance, Musket Cove. We pretty much spent today just catching up on laundry and getting all the salt off the boat. We also had to take the stack pack off. So we had to hoist the mainsail, get the stack pack off and secure the sail again as we've got to make some alterations just because the sail is so much bigger than the last one. And just general tidy up, coiled up ropes and we're, one of the quarantine jobs will be the dinghy and just clean up everywhere. Tons of salt everywhere on the boat so good to actually have some spaces you can sit down again. Kind of started in the cockpit, almost finished too. It's a lot cleaner. Since our passage up took six and a half days, we had another seven and a half days of quarantine to complete in Inca. So like last year, we got a few jobs done on the boat. We had to make the stack pack for the mainsail bigger. And we antifouled the dinghy since it's really the only time we didn't use it for a few days. The Navy delivered contactless fresh supplies for us. So between feasting on fresh produce, getting jobs crossed off our to-do list and enjoying the scenery and warmer temperatures, the time in quarantine was quite a breeze really. After we completed 14 days of quarantine and our negative results from our day 12 COVID tests were confirmed, we could make our way in to complete our formal inward clearance and receive our official Blue Lane flag to show we've gone through all the proper health clearances and we were free to cruise the outer islands. After a week of passage and another week in quarantine, finding ourselves back at one of our favourite spots, it felt like we finally arrived properly in Fiji. And now, it was time to have a bit of fun in the water. of weeks we pretty much spent most of our days in the water having a blast but with more and more COVID cases on the main island 
We decided to head up the Yasawas for a week or two and get away from it all and instead go swim with the manta rays. reef in between so I'll just plot a course through there and about 25 miles to go to Manta Ray. Having left early meant we arrived with plenty of time left in the day to head straight across to the Manta Ray Pass to try our luck and see if there was any mentors around to swim with.
In our next episode, we head further north after your Yasabas. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you're subscribed and thanks for watching.